Hey everyone, my name is Andrew Hess, and today I wanted to do a few things. So, I wanted to trigger a Power Automate from Power Apps using the new version 2. So there's a new version 2 to trigger Power Apps from Power Automate. And then I was going to use a Word template and populate it, and then put that Word document in SharePoint and save it. So I have a very simple Power App. It's just a button with uh, three fields, the name, date, and my favorite color. Now when we go to Power Automate, you notice that Power Apps now says version two. So in version two, we're in the modern, I'm gonna try and do everything modern for now on in all of my videos. We have Power Apps version two. It's asking for the inputs at the beginning of the Power App. So right here, we can do add an input, and I'm going to do text. So I want to do the same thing that was asked in Power Apps. So name, date, and favorite color. So I'm going to do name. And then date, I'm going to actually use a date field. But pay attention to this right here. YYY-MM. So it uses a dash, not a slash. We have to do that exact formatting that they're asking for. And then finally, the last one is uh, favorite color. So favorite color. And instead of trigger date, I'll name this date. And so those are the three things it's asking for. So next, our next action is we're gonna do a Word template. So a Microsoft Word template is down here. We're gonna populate a Microsoft Word template. So I did uh, create this Word template. We can see I have my Word template here. We can see that these fields are actually uh, fields that I'm gonna pull in through my template. So I have name, date, and favorite color. All right, so my template is saved in my document library. So back to Power Automate. We're gonna select the SharePoint site, which is inventory stock. It just happens to be my newest SharePoint site. And in modern, I gotta go all the way down to create custom. So I'm gonna choose that, and then the document library, and then the Word template. So I'm gonna base it off that Word template. And then here, in the advanced parameters, we can click show all, or we can just select each one of them. So now favorite color is going to be, based off my Power Apps trigger, favorite color. Name is going to be my name. And date is gonna be my date. So each of these three fields were decided upon in the trigger. That's what's pulling through here. Now that I have a template, I want to create a file and save it somewhere. So I'm going to create a file and I'm going to put it in SharePoint, not OneDrive or anything, but I'm going to create a file in SharePoint. So I'm going to create a file. I'm going to put it in that same document library. And the folder path will be the shared documents folder path. And the file name is going to be my name from Power Apps. And this is going to be .docx because that's the type of file it is. It's a Microsoft Word file. And the file content the dynamic content is going to be right here, the Microsoft Word document. So that's going to be pretty much my entire flow. Uh, let's see if we can save now. We save now. Everything is looking good. Let me just double check. The Word template, yep, that looks good. That looks good. I, I probably want to rename it. So up here in the top left, I'm going to rename it to Favorite Color for Power Apps. So now I've renamed my Power Automate. I'm gonna do another save, and then I'm gonna to go to Power Apps. So when we go to Power Apps, let's see if we can add a flow. And by the way, while we're right here, if you really wanted to, you could create your flow here, but this is gonna be classic. Right now, uh, November 2023, it's still doing classic. If we did create flow or classic Power Automate, it's got the classic look. So if you wanted to go back to classic, you could do that here. So one thing is, is that you have to refresh your Power App in order for it to pick it up. So you're gonna to have to save, else it's not gonna be able to find it. Save your Power App, refresh your page. Refresh your page, and then you're gonna be able to pick up that Power Automate. Okay, that's fine, I'll override. Now, in Power Automate, I'm gonna add the flow. I'm gonna search for favorite. So that it is, favorite for Power Apps. That's what I called my flow. 
We're gonna let that load in. Now in my Power Automate button, on the on select, we're going to call the Power Automate. And so you just type in the name, favorite, and then do dot run. Now this is where it's a little behind. Maybe it'll be updated by Microsoft. But you notice right up here, and I'll try and zoom in, is it says text date text underscore one. So we have to look at the Power Automate. It's looking for name, date, and favorite color. So name is going to be, I believe this is text input canvas one. So this is text input canvas one. Dot value. Now the next one was date. Now this was a little funny. It took me a little while to get because if you go back to Power Automate, it really wants it in this format. So to make this easy on myself, I'm gonna add another label. And this is just gonna help me format the date like I want. So right here, I'm gonna add a label. And I'm gonna say, this is for the selected date. So let's go ahead and select a date. So today, November 19th, we're gonna format this to say year, and then we want the date picker, canvas one, dot selected date. So we can see that I now have year, and then we want the dash, so then we want the dash, and then next we want the month. We could probably just copy this, and then we want another dash. So we're just formatting the date to how we want it. And then finally, we want the day. So now we have year, month, day, exactly as we want it. I'm gonna pull this formula into my second parameter of my flow. It's gonna go right there. Now my third parameter, you can see that it's, it's updated here. It says text underscore one F favorite color. This is gonna be probably text input, or actually it's drop down. I forgot, drop down canvas one dot selected dot value. All right, so then we can just come down here, format the text so we can read it easily. Right here, it's text, text name. Then we're pulling in the, the date time. So this is the date time, the date. And then finally, we're pulling in the favorite color. All right, so now I can delete this. This was just for an example. Press play, run the Power Automate. It says that I left blank values, so maybe you wanna figure that out. But most likely you wanna require these fields. So my favorite color is green. And that'll be the name of the document. And then I'll choose green. And now I'll, I'll run Power Automate again. So this time we received no errors. Last time we had a blank in there. Let's go check out Power Automate. And we can see about 12 seconds ago, it did run successfully. It got the information from Power Apps. It created a template and then it created the file. So if we go to SharePoint, we can now see my favorite is green. A few seconds ago, if we click on it, my Word document now has been populated with the information that I pulled through. So thank you for watching. My name is Andrew Hess. Please like and subscribe. Leave me some comments in YouTube and we'll create the next video for next week. Thank you.